No. Hey, welcome to Pavlog. Um, I'm making this video to answer Lucas' question. Uh, the question is, how much does Kane Koso draw? And I made this video because this was one of the questions I had to get an answer for before I got my Kane Koso. Uh, and found, I found this is really interesting because uh, the, the, the answer is controversial. But about drooling, uh, I couldn't really find the answer, so I went to some of the forums, most popular forums I can find. I post a question and say, how much does your kind of corso draw? The answer is interesting. Some people say, like this, and they post pictures to the drawing kind of corso, and they draw like crazy. And some of them says, my kind of corso don't draw at all. And a couple of guys um, to point out uh, to some people say, hey guys, stop giving soft answers. The exact word he used was soft answers. All Mastiff drew, Kane Koso drew, and All Mastiff drew. So he's saying uh, All Kane Koso drew. And some of them agree, they drew more, they drew less, but they all drew. Uh, I'm not a breeder, I have one Kane Koso. All right? I'm not a 20 years experienced uh, breeder who have produced 20 letters. Right? Let's talk about my Kane Koso, Benchi. Before I pick up my Kane Koso, I check with the breeder, I see the uh, dam and sire's head and I want to see how much uh, jaw the the loose skin they've got. Um, I'll show you what I mean. The skin down here, right? this skin here. If you have got a lot of skin down there like a uh, Neapolitan Mastiff, then they will draw more than those who have much less skin down there. Uh, so that's a way to look at it. And the breeder I spoke to told me her dog only drool when there's food and water. So to me, that's drooling, but it's manageable. Therefore, what I'm doing, and he's the same. He only drool when there's food and if there's water. Outside my house, this is my garden where uh, they toilet, right? And they come out several times a day to do their business. Right here, I've got buckets. Buckets and buckets of fresh water. This is where they drink. Why do, I have, do I, why do I have so many buckets? Because after they pee, I pick up a bucket and pour the whole bucket onto the lawn. Because if I don't, I get both spots like that. Those spots are there because somebody did not water the lawn. And they turn yellow and die, right? So I have always have water available outside. They come out and do their business, which is required several times a day, and they drink here. There's no water inside my house. Good boy, have some water. Good boy. Good, good boy. Go for it. Go for it. You done? Okay, let us see you drooling. Sit. Then she sit. 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 Then she sit. There you go, drooling. Aha. Okay, that's how much he drools. That's only after drinking and after eating. Uh, let me show you after eating, okay? Good boy, Venchi. Thank you for your um, demo. Let's see how much this boy drew after eating this. What's me chicken neck? Salmon tribes. He tend to have more drooling um, if he was eating kibbles. So I, I guess when you eat, feed them kibbles, you have to mix it with water, right? Or it's, sometimes people feed kibbles and have above water next to it. But I usually mix kibbles with water and it just gets a bit slimy. The answer I got from most of the Kane Koso owner uh, or Mastiff uh, breeders is Kane Koso drew, but they drew much less than other um, Mastiff breeds. It's almost done, so I'm just gonna grab some um, tissue paper. A little bit damped, you know, it's not horrible. Sometimes he can draw more than this, but this gives you a, a rough idea. You know, just a bit of sliver here and there. That's about it. So in my training, I make sure my dogs have very specific uh, eating schedule. Nobody, no one feeds the dog, uh, feeds the dog human food. So I'm watching TV, I'm eating something, and that might be something the dog can eat, but my children, three of them, my wife, my mother, no one just hand the 
the food, the food to the dog. Because remember Pavlov's dog, Psychology 101, everybody knows Pavlov's study. You know, uh, he used dogs uh, pr producing saliva and, and uh, come up with this theory of conditioning. Pavlov dogs is the reason I named my channel Paul Vlogs Dogs. Anyway, um, the dog can produce saliva because they expect foods come in. If you feed your dog in, in the house, right, every time when you are eating, they, they will produce saliva and that's drooling inside your house. If you don't want drooling in your house like me, my wife cannot stand a dog drool over the place, right? So nobody feeds the dog inside the house. That's part of training. Um, my dog will only drool when they start to see their own food and after drinking. So they feed. at the moment my dog's uh, 12 months old, uh, well, 11 months old, so he eats and I wipe his, I wipe his uh, face after he eats and there's no more drooling. When he comes out and drink water, often he gets to walk, gets to walk around. By the time they go inside, there is no drooling, okay? And if, if I'm going to take him back inside straight after eating, I wipe his face. So does my carnet crossbow drool? Yes, he does, but it's manageable. Um, I went to a dog show and saw bull mastiff drool. Uh, that's, that's not manageable. Basically, you live with a dog that drools all the time. And some people, some people are okay with it. I spoke to a lady who breeds Neapolitan Mastiff. And I said, how do you manage your drooling? This is before I got my kind of corso. And she showed me her clothes. She says, well, I just don't wear good clothes. Because when I look at her sweater, just like this one, and pants, you can see drooling after she mentioned it. So if you can find a kind of corso that has um, less skin on the face, just, you know, right here, um, and you can check the parents. The, the parents are the same. If you can even better check the grandparents, they're all the same. They don't drool too much. I don't think it's a problem. You just make sure they drink in a particular area where you can manage the drooling. And also you uh, make sure they don't just think about food all the time. And you should be sweet. I hope this helps. See you next time.